LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to install your keys onto your keyboard. We're going to start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the key area. You can see at the top corners there's two metal loops, and at the bottom there's one large metal hook. So you have to look at the different keys because they change position. The large one can be at the top or even to the side. And the position for those hooks determine the position for the hinges, which are these. So we're going to click these hinges together to make one, then put that on the keyboard, then finally put the key cap on top of that. So we're going to start by determining the position of the large piece, which is this. And you can see it has two small hooks at the bottom and two large ones at the top. Now I'm saying top and bottom because the uh, large hook is at the bottom and you're going to align the small pins accordingly. So if this hook were to be on top then you put the small pins at the top. In this case they're at the bottom so the hook's at the bottom so we put that at the bottom. Now make sure not to put this piece upside down because as you can tell it looks the same but it won't work so you have to feel the uh, sidebars here, the vertical ones if it's one smooth piece from top to bottom that faces away from the keyboard if you feel there's a bump in the middle that faces and touches the keyboard so that's the right position for that put it down for now get the next piece which is this and you can see this piece has pins in the middle those are going to go into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece. And it has two pins at the top also. So I say top and bottom again because of the large hook. This bottom bar is going to go underneath that metal hook wherever it may be. In this case it's at the bottom so we're going to leave this at the bottom. Same thing we have to make sure not to put it upside down. And you do that by feeling the top bar here. If you feel it's one smooth piece from side to side that faces away from the keyboard. If you feel there's a gap or a discontinuation that faces and touches the keyboard. So now you know the position for both pieces. What you want to do is put the small piece over the large piece and put the bottom, uh, the left pin into the left hole that's in the middle of the large piece there. So go ahead and do that. But at the same time, you kind of want to put the bottom piece of the small uh, hinge underneath the bottom piece of the large piece, uh, I mean bottom bar of the large piece. So it's kind of like two maneuvers at the same time. Uh, once you have the left pin in, that hole that's on the large piece you want to hold that in place so it doesn't come out again notice how the uh, bottom of the small piece is underneath the bottom of the large piece now we have one pin to put in still um, we have to separate the large piece from the small piece in order for it to have enough space to go into that hole and there you go, now both pieces are one. Put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large metal hook, wherever it may be. Then you hold it down so it doesn't come back out. 
now we have to stretch or slide the hinges upward enough for the uh, the pins to go into those loops, the metal loops that are on the keyboard. So uh, do one side in first, put one side in, then now you want to hold the bottom so it doesn't come out and this side. So kind of grab it from, push it down on the corner. Now we have to get this last pin into that last loop. So stretch or slide the hinges over to the opposite side in order for the pins to have enough space to go into that loop. Now finally you get the keycap, put it in the right position, which is this. Push it down evenly on all four sides, and that's it for the regular size key. We're going on to the large key, and you can see it's the same procedure as the regular size key, only on a larger scale. So you want to put the bottom uh, bar that's flat. See this is flat here so that's how you know it goes wherever the large hook is. Put that in. Put one of the pins in to that uh, loop. Hold it down. Put the other pin onto the other metal loop. And um, the difference in these is that the keycap has a wire on the back. So this is the right position and make sure to flip your key over this way to work on it. Don't do it this way because it will create confusion. So flip it over like that, like that, and get the metal wire and it goes in the fittings that are at the very top. There's two at the very top and two that are close to the top but not quite there. So put the pin, the wire right in the middle of the fitting and push down on it in order for it to click. Now uh, open the wire up like this and put your key in the right position but you want to tilt it over this way so you can see the wire. Now next to the hinge there's a loop here to the left and a loop to the very right also so put the wire in between those loops right through it push down evenly on all four sides so that the keycap clicks onto the hinges. Finally, the uh, space bar. This is the right position for the space bar. You can tell by the uh, design that it has here. So behind uh, the, uh, the keycap, flip it over this way, you'll see that it has uh, the um, the wire in the middle there. So it has two fittings, uh, one over here, one over here, then it has two that are closer, then it has one over here, one in the middle, and one over here. That's for that wire. And for the large wire, uh, just put it on the very top fitting. Click it in, flip it over this way again, and then assuming you already have your hinges in place, we're going to put the wire in those metal hooks or uh, loops at the very extreme left and right. Flip it over and click it onto the hinges. That's LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice. When trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.